In this video, we will review proper installation of a USRB clamp lock adapter lock bearing. Before attempting installation, be sure to read installation form 10221E. Always use proper personal protective equipment and follow proper lockout tagout procedures prior to attempting an installation. Tools required include a hammer and drift pin, micrometer, allen key, and a torque wrench. Other useful tools can include a breaker bar, spanner wrench, or strap wrench. The shaft should be clean and free of nicks or burrs. If necessary, remove any burrs or corrosion with sandpaper, emery cloth, or similar tool. We do not recommend the use of lubricants or anti-seize on the shaft or bearing. USRB clamp lock adapter lock is designed to be used with commercial shafting. Use a micrometer, if necessary, to ensure the shaft is within the tolerance shown. Sealmaster USRB bearings come in expansion and non-expansion versions to accommodate shaft axial movement from thermal expansion or during adapter lock installation. It is recommended to use one non-expansion and one expansion bearing when installing USRB bearings with clamp lock adapter lock. For easier installation and proper locking of clamp lock adapter lock to the shaft, all loads should be removed from the bearing using support straps or stands. Slide each bearing onto the shaft, but do not exceed 2 degrees misalignment. If the bearing does not fit loosely, turn the collar nut counterclockwise 1 to 2 additional turns to open the lock sleeve. Once you have the bearings on the shaft, insert but do not tighten the mounting bolts. Align the bearings to the shaft. Once completed, Tighten the housing bolts to the recommended fastener torque. Making sure the shaft does not turn, use both hands to tighten the collar nut of the fixed bearing until it is hand tight. For larger bearings, a tap on the collar with a hammer may be necessary to relieve binding of the collar nut. At this point, clearance has been removed between the adapter lock sleeve and the shaft. Mark a line across the collar nut and shaft with a marker. Alternatively, Note the location of one of the laser-etched tick marks on the collar in relation to the sleeve split. Refer to the installation guide for the rotation specification to achieve full lock, or simply read the note on the collar nut. Using a hammer and drift, rotate the collar nut the required amount. Tighten the cap screw on the collar to the torque specified in the instructions. The cap screw and split collar nut provide additional clamping force to improve lock reliability. When mounting the expansion unit, position the bearing within the housing, opposite the direction of expansion. For most applications, this means pushing the insert into the housing. After the expansion bearing is adjusted, install the bearing following the previous steps. In certain applications, it may be desired to use two non-expansion clamp lock adapter lock bearings. Refer to the instructions for recommendations to avoid preloading the bearing when installing two non-expansion bearings. For bearing removal, reverse the previous steps. When loosening the collar nut, it can be expected to alternate between drift and hammer and rotation by hand until the collar comes loose. What if you could shorten downtime with clamp lock adapter lock simplified installation?